For the longest time, I've tolerated the constant grind that is the game known as Kaiju Universe. You know, it really has been sitting in the back of my mind that how boring the leveling system is in this game. I cannot comprehend. I cannot comprehend. It's... I was gonna come out and say it. No hate to the devs or anything. I respect everything you guys do for this game, but you have no clue how to balance and how to understand the game you are making. Yeah, Verit, I don't think making friends is a very good priority for where you're trying to take the game right now. What I'm trying to say is you can't figure out what direction you want to take your game. Sure, you can pump out as many great quality kaijus as you want. I will continue to eat that up, but if your gameplay loop isn't entertaining enough for most players anymore, then something's wrong there. <laughs> if I'm gonna wait a month for a kaiju that's gonna be really well modeled and have something unique about it on a map that hasn't been updated for three years almost at this point, and there's nothing interesting around that map or anything around that gameplay loop of just killing each other for XP and stuff like that, then I don't see why I should continue playing. But for lucky for you guys, I'm going to fix your game. I'm going to fix this game and rework it from the ground up, starting with this video. Without further ado, let's see how the Kaiju Universe leveling system is very boring and how to fix it. To start off our analysis, I'm going to point out why the system is flawed and boring. So, first off, it is very repetitive. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point. Kaiju Universe is kind of a simulator game, so, you know, there's got to be some repetitive aspect to it. I mean, that's with all games, but the heavy factor of repetitiveness in this game, I cannot stress about. You know, it's fun when you're Gojira, right? You are you just started this game. You have no idea how anything works, right? You just, you know, go around beating the shit out of people. Like, you have no idea what you're doing at that point, right? So, you're just, you know, destroying buildings and... Don't even get me started on the buildings part. Like, if Kaiju Arisen, which is restarting and has better building destruction physics than you, then that's kind of a problem. It's repetitive. Like, it starts at the beginning of your playthrough. It starts when you're a Gojira and continues to go even when you're a Destroyer. It's the same gameplay loop. You're going from level 1 to 100 on 60 different Kaijus <laughs> at this point, I think. It's kind of boring. Like, if you're maxing every kaiju in the game, you know, you're gonna have to tear some skin off your face and get- and be like, oh my god, this sucks. Because, there's really not, like, another way to do it, you know? Another point is that grinding can feel longer than it actually is. Like, it can take, like, me, like, who doesn't spend eight hours a day, you know, maxing a kaiju one day that's not me personally I, I can't you know waste hours of my life on the game that's so boring at this point but you know i'm just gonna explain it and not go into a tangent so it feels longer than it actually is because one it's either your kaiju's underpowered and you know just shaking them in the in a, another person's leg is not gonna you know give you as much xp as you would need but when you take into a fact like some of these kaiju's are you know remotely simple like as a premise like and they take almost eight hours to completely max then like i know max is supposed to be like you know the grand achievement the reward but like it should take you know a little less in my opinion like you don't really get anything at max level right you just get plus levels after that there's no point some people might relate but you know that's just me Another thing, XP requirements make no sense for the kaiju you're playing as. Cherno Alpha and Rose Biolante stand out like a sore thumb to this point right here, because Rose Biolante is supposed to be an early game, correct? So, it shouldn't take a 1.5 or 1.2 times multiplier on your XP for an early game kaiju. I get it's a requirement for 
you know, Beast Biolante, you know, one of the strongest things in this game that's about to come out, but like, it's an early game, Kaiju, man. Why? Why? Like, why is there such a stress on XP? Cherno Alpha is a very, you know, it stands out as a mid-tier, in my opinion. Like, I don't see Cherno being above late game, because Cherno's just balanced like that, and why does it have an XP requirement that makes no sense? It'll take weeks. It, like for me to max a kaiju because I'm not sitting there hours of my day grinding something that's probably not worth it at the end because it's either gonna get rebalanced or nerfed or like buffed at some point because like there's really no point in grinding something that's not permanent you know and to my next point there is no reason to level strong stuff because look at Eva for example like if I was, like, leveling that day one, then I would say, you know, it's pretty worth it. It's a very overpowered kaiju. I could probably kill a lot of people, you know, and get a lot of XP out of that. But now, Eva is a mess to grind, in my opinion, because, you know, you're not murdering people left and right. And especially with the XP requirement for Eva, I feel like it's just boring as crap, like how you can swap between the different modes and stuff. I felt that was interesting, but after a few months of that, you know, I'm just not intrigued in it by any any chances, you know? Why is Junior a 1.5? Junior should not be a 1.5, that should go to Heisei Godzilla because that thing is much stronger. And I feel like giving Heisei Godzilla the XP requirement that of junior would make it more you know reasonable it would make more sense but nope give it to the smaller thing because you know you're trying to delay the progress to destroy us so overall with how what makes the grinding boring it's repetitive to an extreme point it can feel longer than it actually is for most kaijus in the game and some of the xp requirements for some of the kaijus make no sense at all and here is my ideas to fix the leveling system. Starting off with my first point, decel and XP capsules. This is a new mechanic I have brainstormed, right? No, nothing has ever been proposed like this in KU ever. This is a, you know, big Jimmy Neutron Mega Mind moment I'm coming up with right now, all right? These capsules will fall from the sky and land around the map like presents in the Kaiju Universe Christmas event from last year, so. It's a hot spot and it makes it easier to get XP in general because here's the big one. You can get a shit ton of XP from these guys. So, you know, making it a hot spot and dragging a lot of people from different ends of the map to this one area is going to make it so you can, you know, fight people for a big XP reward and, you know, and get XP out of it because you're beating up people, you know, that's how the game play works you're beating up people you're getting xp for the kaiju you're trying to fight with you know so i feel like having a hot spot with these xp capsules that can offer g cells and xp you know and a lot of people around it you know it works it works i feel like it's a win-win because you're going after something that could get you a lot of xp and you're fighting people that gives you xp so i feel like it's a good balance between that oh yeah did i mention that only one person can get this so it's even more of a scramble to you know get this capsule but as for the rewards i proposed it could go either two ways and i'll let you guys think about this for a second so it can either be a 1.25 multiplier on xp for 10 minutes when someone claims it you know it can you know make the person actually seek out more people and kill them because you know they have an xp multiplier so they don't want to waste it second opinion it gives you know i don't know <laughs> two thousand four thousand I, I don't know i feel like it shouldn't be you know like stupidly you know it shouldn't give a stupid amount of xp then it's gonna dry out every location in the map i still want people i still want a variety of people around the map but like i still want a bunch of people at the capsule fighting over it because like that's the point of it so you can get a lot of xp instantly encouraging more people to fight over it so that's basically what i came up with i thought of tiers like different tiers for capsules like there could be an uncommon a legendary an epic tier but like i feel like that would complicate it even more so like i don't know about that i'll let you guys choose on that my next solution is make appropriate level multipliers for the appropriate kaiju so 
make Rose Biolante one times XP. You know, make it normal, make it flat, make it simple, okay? It's an early game kaiju, it should be, you know, have the same XP requirements as every other early game kaiju. Like, I'm not gonna go into the balancing, but like, I'll save that for another video, you know? I'm trying to fix your game here, PG, you know? Heisei Godzilla should be two times, because it's a dest requirement, and I feel like giving the XP multiplier to something that's really strong should be, you know, reasonable. It should be reasonable, because it's very strong, and since you want to drag out the levering process for it, I feel like giving it a two times multiplier would make the most sense for it, because it's a strong kaiju, I feel like everyone can agree on that, and since you're very strong, I feel like dragging out the leveling process would make Heisei Godzilla more reasonable for that. And when Godzilla Earth eventually gets added, I feel like it should be at 10 times because Jesus Christ, that thing is going to be ridiculous. Another solution I have is POI XP multiplier. So what this is, is basically in a POI on the map will be selected for an XP multiplier for a certain amount of time. So picture this. So you're in a server and Isla Damara has an XP multiplier of so and so. This can help flesh out the problem of hotspots around the map because I feel like the very popular locations right now is just Tokyo and Birth. You don't see anyone else going to any other island unless it's the respawn mechanic and you have to spawn there. So I feel like giving a multiplier to a random location would help you know flesh out the map it would help you level up in different spots you haven't fought in before so i feel like it would shed some light on easily demara if there was an xp multiplier there so for like i don't know like 20 minutes maybe so like you can beat the shit out of people there there you know respawn com keep coming back for like 20 minutes and then the xp multiplier will hop to another island and then you can repeat the same process there game modes is another solution i'm not even gonna go into that stuff but you know you get my point rewards you get rewards from that you know npcs is my another concoction of mine that could help flush out the leveling system i feel like because you can have different npcs that you know have the same like you know mechanic of leveling you can beat them up and it gives you like i don't know like 5 xp to 20 per tick like damage tick i think you know the basic player stuff on a robot that just you know walks around oh there's a guy right there go attack him i feel like that could work so there's i feel like there could be a variety of npcs around the map so for skull island there could be skull crawlers mother long legs skirt buffaloes you know stuff you can you know squishy is that so i guess i don't know the ocean jesus christ oh i feel like the ocean needs a lot of freshing like a, something fresh to bring to it because it's a barren desert under all that water like there's nothing going on i feel like that needs an overhaul in itself which i will cover in a different video but for the npcs in the ocean i feel like there should be murder fish mire squids you know stuff to flesh out the ocean i guess you know make going into the ocean actually worth going into the ocean because you can kill squids for xp you know raids are a branch of the off the MP, npc idea there we go it's a branch off of that and there could be different types of kaiju that raid a poi at any given time so like you know you're beating someone up at tokyo oh a raid is happening right now so you could have i don't know a mob of megalon npcs just rush the poi and you know attack the city attack the players so if you're Helping to kill all these Megalons that are raiding the POI, you can get rewards. You can get XP and G cells that make it actually worth fighting the NPCs that are raiding the POI. It's like, I made an entire video off of this a year ago, I think. So, you know, I could just show some, you know, footage off of what that would look like. Like, for some raids, I wouldn't say all of them, because, like, how would you progress a Megalon raid if there's only, like, you know, four Megalon NPCs raiding the POI? So, like... I feel like there should be different types of raids, like I suggested in my video from a year ago. So like, each wave for a specific type of raid would, you know, add in more difficulty, add in more numbers to the NPCs, you know, how they like could swarm you if you're not careful because, you know, the combat system doesn't really allow you to face multiple opponents, but you know, you know, try to, if you're doing it with multiple people, I feel like it would be a very, you know, required option if you're doing if very difficult raids like have a, like a, your friend 
you know, help you out with the 30 Megalon NPCs that it may be raiding the place. So, you know, another solution are boss fights. So, you know, it's very simple. It's a big ass kaiju that could be located somewhere on the map. You can get a bunch of people to go fight it and you can get rewards from it. So more more XP, more G cells, you know, whatever you want. So like, I feel like each server could have one boss, have a random boss on the server. So like, say one server has a crack, like the Kraken from the Skull Island show in the in the Mariana Trench, and then in another another server that could be a like a cleric Mudo boss in the Sanctum when it's not Halloween. Like the Sanctum's just an empty POI that only opens at Halloween. So like, I feel like it should open frequently so like you can fight the cleric muno boss that's in there and get a reward out of it things going on with that poi unless it's halloween so like i feel like having something like having a reason to go there when it's not halloween should you know be a cool idea i guess my last point of this video for now like i mean there could be a a lot of different options to fix the ku leveling system you know stuff you guys can come up, come up with in the comments i don't know you guys can do that but I feel like the last thing I want prioritized on this video is a complete mission, the, like the mission system rework. I want that completely redone and I have an idea about that. So the UI is going to be different. I'm going to plan to rework the entire UI throughout these videos, you know, you know, something to keep you guys interested in. Introducing daily and weekly missions and having different missions depending on if it's a weekly or a daily so daily missions would reset faster i feel like five hours or less or more i don't know varied it depends you know i wouldn't wait 24 hours for missions that are kind of bullshit i'm not getting a mission where i have to kill 10 swimming players no one's gonna go out of their day to do that unless they're grinding manila ex which i don't see a point in either so i have a couple of ideas for new missions so there could be a most wanted mission where you have to kill a certain player a certain amount of times there could be a tourist mission where you have to visit every location on the map there could be a capsule collector mission where you have to collect capsules and stuff like those are the daily missions i come up came up with and those reset you know pretty quickly you know they don't give the biggest rewards in the world but i feel like it's you know it's pretty cool i feel like that could work and then for weekly missions they are you know the hard shit you know like the oh yeah destroy 5,000 buildings no one's gonna go out their way to do that that's what the daily missions are for the easier stuff the weekly missions are harder in nature and i feel like those can give you know the big booty of the rewards you know give like a shit ton of xp for your efforts and completing them you know and you know how like completing all three missions gives you like a random reward that's not very worth it i feel like like it should tell you what rewards you get so on my custom ui little thing we have a uh, we have like a complete rewards chart so i've decided to put what each mission might like, get you so like i feel like each day like it could re like it could change but like you know or there should just be every single mission in the game you know it lists what rewards do you get like i feel like it shouldn't vary i feel like each mission should have its own unique you know prize you know uniqueness to it like you can do this mission and get that reward or you can either choose this mission and do that you know get that you know and completing all daily missions would get you a uh, you know a random reward like 3000 xp for a kaiju like 15,000 g cells i don't know throw some random shit and the weekly mission completing all of those will get you some big money i don't know it could get you a kaiju i guess that that seems like my, in my mind it could work you can get shinagawa form 3 you can get titanosaurus or you could get skins like if once that gets implemented with the plus levels and all that bullshit but you know you can get skins for different kaijus by completing weekly missions i feel like the weekly mission skins should be unique so you, there's actually a point in grinding to them most importantly why people actually do missions in the first place is manila ex so when you get manila ex it's basically just manila but you know with a bunch of different attacks so i feel like it's not that worth it and the real you know goal is to grind and spend years of your life getting to level a thousand so just getting something that's considered an early game but you have to build up to it i feel like the day system could be changed so if you do all your daily missions i feel like that should count as a day so 
there, there i came up with a solution to my own problem so for manila i feel like the day that like the certain amount of days you can have to grind for should be lowered so i feel like day like 75 or 80 would be a, a good you know margin to aim for because i don't feel like grinding 100 days for kaiju that's gonna be shit it doesn't even have siphon either bring siphon back for manila my god why would you remove that that's my mission rework you guys can discuss about that in the comments as well but you know who gives a big hoopla so for the conclusion ku needs to change drastically if it wants to keep you know the actually smart people and the starter players which i can respect or the devs are trying to focus and prioritize over the you know the experienced people because you know more new people can keep your game to survive but i feel like most of your features don't warrant that because they're kind of boring and it gets repetitive after a couple months of playing the game so just add more stuff to do in the game if i don't care you can keep you know get to level 1 to 100 system that can stay the same i don't really care like just keep that the same you can you know it's that's how the game that's the gameplay loop what i'm trying to say here but if there's nothing to do and you're just stuck with killing the same people in the same server for, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour a day, like, it gets boring and no one wants to do that. So adding on to the leveling system would make the game, you know, fun, entertaining, it gets you stuff to do, you know? It keeps people coming back because they know, like, they can do something different that day. You can, you can have people keep coming back to your game thinking of different ways to level up their kaiju. So, Say you're playing as Mecha Godzilla 2021 this today, and like you feel like doing your missions. Once that gets boring, you can go hunt for XP capsules. Get you know, you can kill people. You know, different ways of expanding the gameplay loop that makes it fun. Not all my points are valid, but I feel like I'm starting somewhere good. I'm I'm thinking of ways to do something different you know that's what i'm trying to provide with this video series i'm trying to pr put out right now so i hope you all enjoyed my brain <laughs> my brain cognition of something new for this game we all play on a daily basis for some reason but you know that's you and i hope you all enjoyed the video and see you next time